Welcome. Good evening to all my brothers and sisters from around the world. I just want to appreciate you and tell you that I thank you for being here and for studying the Word of God with Dr. PJ Prophetic Word. And I just want to pray and ask the Lord to bless us continually giving us favor in everything that we do according to His Word. To continue to give us wisdom, knowledge and understanding and the gift and the unctions of the Holy Spirit in His Word to continually pour out His guidance, His protection upon us and our families to continuously deliver us from all evil because thy word for thine is the kingdom the power and the, gl and the glory Lord there is so much chaos in the world today Lord there is so much violence there is so much criminology there is so much evil in this world today have mercy upon us O Lord and continually pour out your grace in Jesus Christ Yeshua Amashiach Yah have a savior, precious name, amen. And today I'm gonna to be studying from one of my favorite Psalms, the Psalms 24. And in this Psalm, I just love this Psalm. And I'm gonna be starting in verse one and reading from the King James Version. Verse one, a Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in the holy in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing of the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. And Selah in the ancient Hebrew means stop, pause, meditate, think about what you just heard or you just read from the word of God. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and ye shall be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. And as we study and we meditate, I just want to express myself to you that sometimes we, we, we think because we have property and we purchase land or we own a home or we have a car or we have clothing on, on our body we just forget that it is the Lord that owns everything he owns the cattle on a thousand hills it is the creator almighty God El Shaddai Yahweh Savior, He is the one who created everything. The foundations of the earth. He built it 
upon the waters. He created this world. He created everything that is in it and all that dwells in him. I mean the cows, the, the, the flowers, the, the beauty of God that Satan tried to destroy in this world. Think about it. Oh, wonderful God is that he created it one time and he didn't have to go and recreate. It did not come to an end, but it was perpetual. I mean, his creation is perpetual. His creation is eternal. The beauty of the Lord, the splendor of the stars and the constellations and the heavenlies, it is the workship of God. Let us give him the glory and thank the Lord on a daily basis for the seasons that we enjoy. Some people curse the winter. Some people curse the summer. But I praise the Lord. Because it is he that brings the rain to the ground, to the earth, to the terra firma. And allows the vegetation and the food to grow. That we plant the seeds. And when we plant these seeds, we see the replenishment of the vegetables. The replenishment of the, of the fruits. And everything to sustain man and to sustain the animals. It is his plan and his idea that came to fruition the day he created the heavens and the earth. The day he created the angelical beings. The day he created us in this second earth age of the terra firma in the second earth age. Oh wonderful is the Lord. Oh wonderful is the earth you're in. Because man got to chop down a tree. And take the wood. The tree that God planted and created. Is design. Almighty beautiful design. Man chop the tree down. And build it a house. Man take the metals. And melt it down. And take the rubber tree. And make rubber. And take the residue from the peanut to make rubber. And created a car. That's what we call a vehicle. It is the creator that created the sun that man took and made glass. It's everything. The food. The tomatoes. The fruits. Everything we eat and we consume. It is the Lord. He is the creator. And he say in his word, he has founded it upon the seas. And then he said, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He said it. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul in vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. You see, clean hands. Your hands has not shed blood. Pure heart. You don't have envy, jealousy. You repented. You don't have all this hypocrisy. You don't have evil. You don't. You are not a husband snatcher. You don't sleep with somebody's wife and walk around like a peacock or like a like a like a serpent, creepy crawly. Clean hands. Clean heart. That's what he require. And he says there's a condition for that. It will give us favor. Blessings mean favor of the Lord. And righteousness from the God of his salvation. Also, your children. He said this is a generation of them that seek him. That seek that face, O Jacob. And then we glorify our mighty God and thank him even for the water that we drink. He purifies the water seven times during the day for us. God cleanses the water. When the rain comes, he cleanses the water. When it gets cold, he cleanses the, 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 the air. The coldness kills the bacteria in the air. When the spring come, he replenished. He sent out the angels, just like in the book of Enoch. I will be teaching it pretty soon. He sent out the angels to replenish and command the angels to change the season. He can turn it up. He can bring it down below zero. 
It is his. It belongs to God Almighty. The earth belongs to him and everything that is in the earth that belongs to the Lord. We glorify you, Lord, in this Psalm 24. And we say, lift up your head, O ye gates. Lift up your head. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Lift them up. Ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Just meditate on the word of the God. And just a splendor. Our minds cannot grasp his beauty. His throne and his beauty and his splendor. You can read it through the word, especially in the book of Revelation. His splendor, his majesty. Some people have big houses with marbles and gold. But God Almighty, everything is yours. I say the gold, the rubies, the carbuncles, the platinum. Everything belongs. The diamonds are his. Let us give him thanks. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your word. In Jesus, Yeshua, mighty name, we pray. Amen. I defeat you, Satan.